Hi Taurus, thank you for being here with me today for our daily Taurus get together. It's Monday today, July 17th, 2023. Let's look into your tarot cards and see what your tarot cards say today, Taurus. What you should be aware of. I'm just going to shuffle the cards three times while I have you guys with me. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? Taurus, let's see what your tarot cards are today. I'm actually feeling very excited about this reading today, you guys. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? Please take what resonates and leave the rest, you guys. These are messages for the sign of Taurus, and not all of them will apply to you, but some of them will. Um, we have Capricorn energy showing up the very first card, the devil. And then you have the nine of swords and the ten of swords. Okay, you have the six of wands. Strength, Leo energy. And then you have the Four of Swords. There you are showing up as yourself, Taurus, the Empress, male or female. And then you have the Eight of Cups and the Three of Wands. The Emperor and the Knight of Wands, Aries energy with the Emperor. So we do have the Emperor and the Empress in this reading, Taurus. So there's there's someone here you're connecting with, all right? And um, the very first card you have here is the Devil, and I'm seeing you connecting with this person right here as your very first card so this is going to be what this reading is about is the two of you all right because i feel like there's there's something here about some type of an attachment that you have with this person with the devil but we're going to clarify and i'm going to use this other deck to clarify with Spirits, why is the devil here? You have the seven of pentacles. That six of wands keeps wanting to show up, doesn't it? It looks like you could... You could be making some type of an investment with, um, it could be with any sign, but the signs that are significant, I just told you what they are. Um, here we have Pisces and Cancer energy with the moon, but I'm feeling like there's, there's someone here that... You've invested a lot with. And there's this energy here of working and building together. Not just working and building together, but there's also an emotions involved here. And um, I feel like you're putting a lot of your time into this, this investment here, Taurus. And this could be the past for some of you. But, but the timeline could be off a little bit because this is a general reading okay 
or this this first row can be what's to come whatever this investment is that you have with this person the next card you have here is you have the nine of swords so you're up in your head about a certain situation here that you're thinking about walking away from that feels very difficult to walk away from but you're having a hard time with this it looks like there's there's so much growth with you and i'm seeing at least one or two other people here in your past energy that you've been working with um but then something happens here with the nine of swords it's like there's a lot of worry there's this holding back before walking away why is the Nine of Swords here? There's a connection definitely here with someone. And then you have the Queen of Pentacles here. This could be some type of a connection that involves the material world or your money but there's also this love and mix in the mixture here with it and so it's more complicated and then you have the knight of cups and the four of cups i don't even want to to guess but it's almost like it's almost like you're offering your cup of love to someone here Taurus and you're not receiving the same in return but I feel like you're um you know you're you're holding back from completely ending this even though I'm seeing a lot of pain here showing up you're still giving to this, emotionally giving to this connection. Why is the Ten of Swords here? But there's this feeling of betrayal with the Ten of Swords. Why? Why? So you have the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. And you have the King of Cups. There's someone here that you make very, very happy. And this person could work a lot, but they're showing up here as being selfish in some way. I feel like they, they feel like they're on shaky ground. I don't know, this is so strange. Whoever this person is, you feel betrayed, some type of a betrayal because um, it's like you're offering yourself emotionally to this person and they're somehow not wanting to see it, not recognizing it, missing the opportunity of having you and your you in their life. I mean, you are the empress, and I'm seeing you being highly recognized here with the six of swords, and you're feeling very hurt here. This person, they might drink a lot. They this could be someone who works a lot, but. I feel like this person is just emotionally unavailable. But I'm seeing you looking at this Ace of Pentacles here. So you're looking at um, your something financially here in your life. You have the Nine of Wands, something that you're not giving up on. And this is in the financial world. And I'm seeing you being very successful here. All right, it's like you're admired by a lot of different people with the Six of Wands. There's people cheering you on in the background. 
Why is the Six of Wands here? You're very gifted. Why is the Six of Wands here? You have the Seven of Wands. Seven of Swords. You got the Devil again. For some reason, you're feeling attached to someone here that is showing up as someone who may have a gambling addiction, a drug addiction, but there's something that is like a comfort zone that you're feeling attached to. But why is the Empress with the devil? Why? I mean, why? This person is doing something sneaky here and they're being very, um, what's the word? Very pushbackish. I mean, there, there's something here that they're doing that is very, like, they're, they're not recognizing you. They're not recognizing this gift of having you in their life. You know what? I'm wondering if this person is even... I mean, I'm seeing them doing something here behind your back that is sneaky. Why is the Seven of Swords here? This person is watching you. They're thinking about you. This person thinks about you a lot. They watch you a lot. This is a soul connection that I feel like you're trying to find out some type of information. And I feel like it's going to be different for all of you because spirits are not telling me a direct answer right here. Um, so let's move on. But I'm, I'm seeing you holding back, okay? And by the way, this person is someone in your life that you have history with. <coughs> Why is strength here? The Wheel of Fortune. And this action that this person takes, they do it over and over and over again. And so I'm seeing, it's like you've reached some type of a comfort zone with whoever this is in your life. It's like you, you're just allowing them to do it and I'm seeing you moving on and doing what you need to do and just leaving this energy alone. Be, because, I mean, it's like I, I don't see you taking any action to just completely cut this off. Because I see this person coming in with communication and the sun. The sun is Leo energy. I'm seeing whoever this is, they come in with communication. They come in all happy and smiling and acting like nothing's wrong. And they do this over and over and over again. But then they, they become distant, is the word I'm looking for. And so you're not really doing anything about it with the Four of Swords. But you are stuck in your mind about this. Why is the Four of Swords here? You're just, you're getting sick and tired of something though. The Eight of Wands. Yeah, you're up in your head about this now. I feel like you're getting worn out. Because you have the Nine of Wands here. You're getting worn out. You're getting tired. For some, of the, for some of you, this could even be a job. So put the energy where it belongs. But I'm seeing um, this person, they... They send you a lot of 
different energy. The energy they send you, though, and the messages that they do send you, I feel like are when they want something. And so you could think to yourself, why did I even answer the phone? Let me see what this person's got going on here with them. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Four of Wands, the Fool, Aries Energy with the Fool, the Six of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so this is a specific message, but someone here is moving into a new home, or there's a marriage here that's showing up in your energy for some of you, and I'm feeling like within this very important time in your life whoever's watching this this person is taking a lot of foolish risks when it comes to the the home the family the marriage and for someone in particular a move all right because i'm seeing someone making a move here but I also see great fortune coming into your energy. I'm talking specifically to you, Taurus. There's something here financially that you're doing for yourself that um, I'm seeing you grow beyond belief here. Like, I mean, you have this energy here of you pushing yourself into calmer water and you're moving towards this ten of pentacles so someone here is getting is is going to be um getting a new home your money is going to be really really good and i'm also seeing like there there's someone here that may ask you to marry them but there's there's something that they do here at times where they become distant and it seems to me to be a secret. And so here you are, as I'm looking into your future energy, you're showing up here as yourself, as the Empress, male or female. Why is the Empress here? The Chariot, Judgment, and Justice. Libra, Energy with Justice. The universe is watching this happen. Taurus, the Divine in the universe, or the universe, however you want to put it. You're being watched here. And something here is going to be balanced out and made right for you. I'm seeing you receiving some type of a wake-up call here with judgment. And um, then you have the chariot. So I'm seeing you moving ahead here very quickly. Like someone here is going to have a legal matter that happens. And this legal matter is going to be in your favor and there's a lot of financial gain here for someone someone is getting a new car i mean the stars and the moon and everything is lining up for you but there's someone here that is lagging in your energy that i feel like i feel like taurus is going to walk away from this person if they don't straighten up their act because I can see, you know, this is someone that loves you. They may even be at a distance from you. They may live at a distance from you. They might travel for a living. Why is the Eight of Cups here? And I'm seeing you walking away. The Magician. Because you're moving on up. The Emperor again. And this person is back and forth. And... This is someone who is in their ego and they feel like they have some type of the 
of control of the magician in you and they don't they're they're doing something here in the energy that's very manipulative they keep going back and forth and I don't know what they're doing you know but I'm seeing I'm doing something that is hidden and I feel like it's different for all of you what it is in particular this person's doing when they become when they show you this distant energy why is the we have the lovers on the bottom of the deck yeah there could be a divorce happening here a legal matter for sure um, this person, I would say with the energy I'm seeing here now, I'm seeing an argument taking place. And I feel like you just, you, you may, we all have free will, but you may make the choice of facing the tower and walking away. Because there's something bigger that you want, that you... You know, you want a higher level of commitment than what this person is offering you that could very well be at a distance. They're offering you breadcrumbs. Why is the Three of Wands here? The Five of Wands and the Queen of Swords. This person might like to... I mean... I mean, I'm seeing someone here that is breadcrumbing you, Taurus, and the reason they're breadcrumbing you is because they're having a lot of conflict or arguments with an ex, and that is a specific message for someone. But there, if it's not, I'm seeing an ex here for sure for somebody. That is where their conflict lies. And... um but for some of you, this person simply has a lot of different energies in, in their life that you, you know, that are just ridiculous. I mean, they're just, they're just out in, in this mess of drama and breadcrumbing you. This person is the Knight of Wands. This person is in and out of your life tell me why the emperor is here this person may even be broke with the five of pentacles they may rely on you in some way yeah there's a decision here you know a decision on your part the energy can be reversed in these general readings but i'm feeling like you may even be dealing with an aquarius libra or gemini but i'm seeing a decision being made here to walk away and we have pisces energy here and um we have all of the signs here in the tarot deck but I'm seeing that there could be three people involved here, specific, a specific message for someone. But I see someone, I feel like you're keeping it to yourself, um, but, but, but I don't see this really causing you a lot of pain. I, feel, I see you up in your head and worried about it causing you a lot of pain because you've been through a lot of pain in the past. But I see you just getting yourself out of this entanglement of, you know, this chaos and um, maybe possibly having a secret plan here. And then you have the King of Pentacles and you have the Queen of Wands. I mean, you may own your own business. You may be starting up your own business. But this is about your money. This is about your stability. And I'm feeling like there's someone here that is the Queen of Wands that 
is a significant person in your life, not this other person's life. Why is the Queen of Wands here? You may have an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius in your life. Or you may have that in your chart. Yeah, there's, there's someone here with you, you know, that you consider to be a prize, someone that you love. And I'm seeing the two of you walking together into the sunset. And I feel like this may be a child or this may be children for someone. For someone specific here, this is a child. But I'm seeing what you're hoping and what you're waiting for and what you're working on and your dreams coming true. And Spirit's telling you to keep going. You're almost there. All right. There's, there's a very confusing energy around you that I'm seeing them going back and forth in and out of your life. And I'm seeing that ultimately you will walk away from this person because they're just, it's the wrong place. I mean, yeah, the wrong place at the wrong time. Their energy is showing up here as a knight. When you're showing up as an emperor, like you are the boss. You're showing up here, Taurus, as if you're moving from the Empress energy into the Emperor energy. There's something about the two of you that matches. Like there's a lot of attraction here with the devil. But there's also a lot about this person that leaves you up in your mind. And at times you already feel like this is over. But that goes back and forth. Let me look at this person. Why is the Knight of Wands here, Spirits? Spirits, tell me about the Knight of Wands. Sorry, you guys, that was me that dropped those cards. So I'm feeling like, you know, in your mind, in your head, you have a choice here. All right. The lovers talks about a choice. And that is to, to work on your money because this person could be holding you back, slowing you down from some type of a dream that you have. Or to continue to give to this energy that's coming in and out of your life. And so we all have free will. This is Gemini energy, by the way, the lovers. But I feel like... I'm feeling like for some of you, not for all of you, the third party involved here in this connection is like this person may have a romantic third party in their life. Tell me why the lovers are here. Yeah, this person, they may be um, walking back into the past. But this is a specific message for someone. It's not for everyone, but I'm seeing an ex in their past showing up here that they're giving to. All right, you guys, let's look at your Moonology cards and get some advice from spirits. All right, so um, let's see what your advice is here, Taurus. You have, what do you need to re release? Waning moon. And your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. 
and then on the bottom of the deck it's time to release negativity and this is full moon in Scorpio and then I just want you guys to choose an angel answer card so choose number one number two or number three and the second card that you're thinking of that's in your mind right now keep that one in your mind because this is a general reading and the first card number that you pick it may not apply to you you'll know if it doesn't okay so there's number one number two number three okay so if you chose number one um, your angels are telling you to wait if you choose number two you have reconsider and if you choose number three helpful people there's people in your energy that um, that want to help you and your angels are telling you to accept the help from others all right you guys i love you guys thank you for being here with me and thank you for all of your beautiful comments and for just getting here together with me for the daily taurus readings take care of you today taurus and i'll see you tomorrow namaste